let me show you something. So from here, everything looks okay, my usual mess. But then let me show you something absolutely crazy. And I have my old camera so that I can zoom. Oh, everything's looking okay, everything's looking okay. Everything's not looking okay. I seem to have an invasion of a certain kind of bug that seems to be primarily in the backyard, but then I haven't really inspected that closely in the front yard, but you see them. This is where zooming comes in handy. Look at that. I posted this on Instagram, and one of my Instagram connections identified these as false chinch bugs. And they are out here probably in the millions. So it doesn't look too bad on these little, what are these, like stepping stones? But let me show you some more examples. Look at that. They're everywhere. Base of the house. That still looks, you know, somewhat sparse. And when I, you know, when I point my camera like this, it looks like they're only on the light color areas, but actually they're like the grass or the fake grass. The turf is filled with them. We just can't see them because it's dark colored. You see that? Oh my goodness. I did a little bit of research on these guys and I think that they feed off of grass. And you can say, well, Jenny, you have no grass in your, in your yard. Well, I don't, but I do have weeds. And there's a lot of weeds at the side of the house, which looks really bad. I was pulling them. Um, I've been trying to avoid doing any kind of sprays, like systemic sprays because of cookie. So no pesticides, no weed killer in the backyard just because she's out here so much. Look at that. It's funny because when I see them, I feel sensations on me as if that they're on my body, but they're not. It's just my mind playing tricks on me, but look. Oops, lighting's really bad. Here. And it's even crazier here, I have like my bags of pumice and cactus soil and they're all over the bags. You can hear them because they're like falling. They, they fall from a higher area down to the bags on the plastic. So it's like little light sounds. I don't know if the microphone can pick that up at all, but look at this. I've never seen this before, at least not to this degree. I think that these guys are actually here every year, but just not to this, you know, this many. This is invasion of the false chinch bugs. It's absolutely insane. And, you know, they're, they're all over the ground. Okay, my, my brain is playing tricks on me. I feel like there's bugs on my back but there, I don't think there are one good thing so far is that I'm out here in my sandals like barefoot in sandals and at least they don't seem to bite otherwise I'm in big trouble look at my shade house looks fine from here but if we come up close Of course, they're not just limited to out here. They're inside my grow area as well. Let me take you inside there really quick. Look at this. What are they doing, you know, hanging out? Look at them. They're like crawling and then sliding off because it's a pretty smooth surface. Oops, my shadow's in the way. Oh my gosh.
if you look in the grass, it's like it's alive. I mean, this is, it's not grass, it's fake grass. Nothing to eat here, guys. Look at that. What are they so busy doing? Where are they going? These guys just seem to like crawl up and then slide down and then crawl up again. Okay, let's go into the grow area. Oh my gosh, look at this. Is it moving the... Can you see it raining bugs? Insane. Look at that. Oh, oh my god. So we're inside my shade area now. Pergola. And you can see... They're everywhere. They're all over the pots. They're on the pot. Like a little guy there struggling. I don't know if they're hurting the plants at this point. I don't know if they eat cactus or not. Uh, let's see. Crawling everywhere. So, for those of you watching, have any of you experienced this before? There's millions of these bugs. Uh, they're all over the... I don't know if you can see. All over this, I don't know if you can call it, like this pergola cover. They're all over. There's a couple guys hanging out on that pot. Oh my goodness, look at that. Holy moly. Yeah, so this is what happens. Uh, oh my gosh. Holy. Oh my gosh, look how many there. Let me see if I can. Oh my gosh. And I feel like they're just multiplying. Holy moly. Oh my goodness, they're really hanging out back there. Oh, you know what? There's a lot of weeds back there. Because um, I can't get behind the, the shade cloth. There's almost no space. I wonder if they're eating the weeds back there. It's very possible. Let me go take a look. See, like I have all these weeds um, in that space that I cannot... I can't get back there. It's very possible there's like a huge amount from all the weeds here. So we got quite a bit of rain this uh, spring, I guess you could say, I think. Yeah, springish. And after it rains, the uh, very opportuni opportunistic weeds pop up like crazy. Holy moly, back here it is even crazier. So the weeds come up and with that, I think, comes these bugs. I just hope that they don't hang around for too much longer, just in case. But these weeds are not going to hang out for, for much longer either, because it's starting to get hot. I mean, we're already in our 90s for the highs, and I can see the weeds starting to die off. So hopefully once the weeds are gone, then these bugs will move on as well. This is insane. So have any of you experienced this before? So this isn't even considered very dense. It's really dense in the back. Let me see if I can get back there. I think back here is the densest. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, this whole cactus growing thing, this phenomena never ends. Oh my gosh, look at that. Bugs, birds. I know some places have issues with rodents even. Oh. Holy moly. <laughs> it's raining them. Well. This is Jenny from Cookies Cacti showing you the invasion of the false chinch bugs. 
in April of 2024 in Chandler, Arizona. Oh my goodness. <laughs>